Welcome back to another episode of Chasing Outdoors. I'm doing something I have not showed you guys on video and it's starting to become more popular. I've been doing it for quite a many years now, but you know, obviously, how am I gonna show you guys when I just started my YouTube channel? Anyways, I am talking about swim bait fishing. And I'm not talking about little swim baits. Even though this one is kind of small in the swim bait world. And if you know anything about swim baits, you know that something like this is not that big. This is a Sly Guy replica bluegill. Hard bait, glide bait. And uh, if you don't know what that means, well, it's pretty simple. It's going through the water, does something like this, back and forth, and if you twitch, it'll turn around. There's multi-jointed baits, and they kind of just like a snake through the water. I like glide baits and soft baits personally, but I am throwing that today. Uh, like I said, I've been doing this for a few years now, and I've caught quite a few big bass uh, on swim baits. And for Ohio, a big bass, you know, I've caught a seven pounder and a six pounder and a few fives, but the six and the seven are definitely pretty big for Ohio. Obviously, you know, you get down in your southern states, that's not quite that big. I mean, it's still nice, but anyways. So yes, that is what I'm fishing today. And uh, I will go over the gear that I'm using and you know, my rod, my reel, what size reel I'm using, my line, all that. I'll go through all that today. Hopefully, hopefully, we can get a big bass to bite, or any bass at that matter, just to prove to you guys. So when you guys are all down here, I'm not buying swim baits. I don't have big bass in my area. You will see that I'm catching small bass on a bait this big. So, I will go over that and show you guys how to use it and how I'm using it. And like I said, hopefully we get on some fish. I have not swim bait fished this pond yet, so I don't even know what's in here. So we are both in for a surprise, hopefully. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get the GoPro on. We're going to start fishing and hopefully catch a monster. So, let's go a little more in depth into this. So like I said, this swim bait is made by Sly Guy. See if we can get with the sun. There we go. This bluegill is made by Sly Guy. That's the company. It's a replica bluegill. If I remember correctly, I want to say it's like 6.6 .6 inches. This is a slow sink, and they do have an extra, extra slow sink or something like that. I would recommend probably getting that. This one does sink kind of quick. I don't know if you'll be able to see in the water or not, but I'm throwing this on 25 pound test P line on a Dobbins Champion, I'm just going to pick it up, XP, this is the 867 mag, and the rating on these rods aren't accurate, they say they're for 4 to 16 ounces, I mean I throw smaller swim baits on here, but I really wouldn't go over like, honestly, like 8 max, I've thrown an 8 ounce bait on it, and you can tell it's, uh, it struggles a little bit. But I'm also throwing it on, my reel is Alexa HD 400. So, big reel, big rod, heavy line, big bait. See these things, they, they sink, right? So, if you wanna let it sink, I don't in ponds, just to be honest, I don't wanna lose my swim bait. You snag it on the bottom, well, you either gotta go swimming for it or you lose it. I don't wanna lose it. But you just, you, you just kind of pulsate your reel, right? And I do have somebody that's coming that'll be able to actually have the big camera. When they get here, we'll kind of show more of what the glide looks like in the water. But I'll keep it kind of on top for you guys. But see, you just want to boom, boom. And what it does is that bluegill's doing this. It's, it's dashing, right? So when you throw it out there far and you do that, you just back and forth really important in my opinion swim bait fishing to have sunglasses where you can see in the water because with swim baits especially big swim baits hold on one second i'll wait for this truck to go by there's tractor but as i was saying it's really important to be able to see because when you're throwing swim baits and especially the bigger you get you get a lot of followers not always do the followers eat but if you can see them 
then you can you can make this thing have different action right so like i said i will have a better camera on this in a little bit but you can jerk it and it makes the, the bait do a 180 just turns right half around right so if you have a follower and you jerk it this blue is going to instantly turn and look at it it's going to cause a reaction strike so a lot of things you can do with swim baits if, if you're not familiar with it look them up but like i said depending on how deep your water is you can let them sink every now and then i'll, I'll give them a few seconds but i don't want to lose my bait so i'm not going to let it sink to get to the bottom it's the benefits of soft baits because soft baits they're usually top hooks so you don't have to worry about snagging them on the bottom as easily but when you're running treble hook baits it's really easy to get snagged so yeah there's a brief explanation of what we're doing and just like any time you're fishing you know throw out diagonal whatever up and down it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna go ahead and start fishing and uh hopefully we get on some all right guys so i threw the big swim bait around a little bit but as it's starting to get dark i decided why not try some top water action who doesn't love some top water action with some big old large mouth and i don't know if you guys can see my wake down there but i have a surprise for you on what top water bait i'm exactly using here I don't know if the audio is quite good enough to pick up that sound from here. Let me show you guys what I'm using. This would be a Spro BBZ size 50 top water rat jointed. It's got rattles in it. So, as you guys can see right here, when you reel it slow, it just goes back and forth and it knocks. And it leaves a really nice wake with it. There's one. Oh yeah, come on. Well, you ain't a big one. Okay, now's the time that I hate trouble hooks though. I figured they had to be pretty small. They weren't hitting a rat. Oh, Pip Squeak McGee. Cool, let's get him back. Let's get another one. But yeah, as I was saying, I know all this stuff has kind of taken off here in the past few years of swim baits, especially in the past year. A lot of the big companies, like, you know, gig and squad they make them and they have such a fan base that i'm sure everybody's buying up their stuff but let me know in the comments what you guys use for top water what you want to see get thrown but you don't want to buy it i'll be the sucker i guess and i'll buy it and see if it's worth it i don't mind buying some strange weird bait you guys have got to let me know what it is and not will try it. Oh, this just got hit. Let's see if he'll smack it again. There he is. Get him in. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, old son. I don't like trouble hooks. Okay. Hey, you stop it. Try 
Come on. There you go. Boom. Another largey. Top order popper. Boom. Get him back. There he goes. Hell yeah, son. See if we can do that again. She's gonna bite the tail. Guys, she's gonna bite the fucking tail. She's on top of the water. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, look at her. Look at this fish. So, I've been trying to figure out the best way to do this here, okay? I have footage of what you guys are about to be watching. Um, and it actually ended up me being, like, chasing this bass for a little over an hour now. Um, so, I have all the video of it, okay? But I don't want to bore you guys with watching me throw this rat out there and pulling it back in and the fish be following it over and over and over again. Because that's what she kept doing. I chased her cast after cast for like 35 minutes. She just kept chasing it in and following it in and following it in. And I got some really nice footage of her, which I will include so you guys can watch. But to sum it up so that you guys don't have to try and watch all the clips and you guys still understand the story, what ended up happening is I had to walk down. I gave up on her. I, I just kept throwing and throwing and I got to the point where it was so dark that I couldn't see in the water anymore to know if she was there. And I'm like, I'm not going to keep throwing this rat and training her to the point to where she keeps seeing this rat. And then she's just like, okay, something's up. Why is there a rat always in the water? So what I did, and I just said, you know what? I'm going to leave her. I'll come back another day and get her. I walked maybe uh, 20 feet, made another cast. Uh, I downsized. From the big rat, I, I just I downsized and said, you know what? Maybe she doesn't want a big if she's still around, or at the very least, I'll catch a small one. So, this is probably about the point now where the video will pick up from here. But uh, to sum it up, yeah, she just kept following the rat in. Uh, I downsized, and well, uh, you guys keep watching. You're about to see what happened next. Well, I think I'm calling it quits on her. I can't see anymore. I don't want to make her too alerted to the rat. She's already seen it for the last like hour I've been standing right here, so. Oh, man. Something hit me and it knocked it in the out of the water and I don't know if it was her or not. I would imagine her with her big mouth if she would have hit it, I would have caught her, but who knows? We're going to keep moving though. First cast, what's it after? You got going on. I made about two bounces and boom. Oh, Pip Squeak McGee was on. That old boy said, I want to ride that like a bull. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh, don't get off. Don't get off. Don't get off. It's her. 
It's her. Yes! Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! On the popper. Popper putting in work. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right, guys. So I just got her some more water, so she's good. Gonna get some pictures with her. And uh, I'll show you on the scale. Four pounds, 10 ounce hog. Look at that mouth. Look at it. It's absolute hog top water. We gonna get another weight again. I'll show you guys right here. It's zeroed out. Scale zero. Can you see it? It says point one one. Jet. <clears throat> zeroed out. Can you see the weight? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, as you see, 410. So, yeah, we're gonna get a release on this girl. As you guys just will see in the GoPro, it took me a while, but I got her. All right, guys, we're gonna get a release on this girl. We gotta let her get some water. Look at that beauty. Tried to get her on the top water rat. She didn't want it. She wanted that popper though. She's ready to go. And there she goes. Whoo, guys. I don't think you guys know just how much that fish just met. I I was over in the corner. I walked maybe, I don't know, in total. 25 feet from where we, I first seen her in the GoPro Whew. And she was following the rat, but she wouldn't commit so I threw the popper for her still She still didn't want the popper So I, I as you guys hear in the GoPro film, you'll see it That you know, I was like hey, I'm gonna leave her. I'll come back again and, and I'll get her I'll come back every night I walked maybe 25 feet Launched that popper out, boom, caught a small one, second cast, she slammed it. Hopefully the GoPro picked it all up. I just, like I said, I had to switch cameras, so I'm hoping, hoping everything went right with that, so. But she went swimming back good, his release. Oh, that is, that is great. That's, that's the first big bass of the season for me. So hopefully there's many more to come. And as you guys can tell, I'm super pumped. You guys are probably like, oh, it's a four pound bass. But in this pond, like I said, I've been managing this pond now for about six, seven years. Eh, probably five or six, I should actually say. And I've never seen anything over a pound and a half, two pounds in here. So for her to show up like that, unannounced, for the first time, and then I take 25 feet and I catch her, I'm just ecstatic. But I still got some more water to go, so we'll see if maybe I can catch another one or a few small ones, and we'll be heading out. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. I uh, I decided after I caught her, I said, you know what? It's still daylight some. I could fish the rest of the pond, but probably just catch smaller ones. And you know what? Catching that fish just made my day. I've been grinding all day. I started at 5 a.m. I don't even know what time it is right now. Uh, it's like probably 8 o'clock, 8.30. I've been grinding all day trying to get a video for you guys. I've been to like four different lakes. And to just end the day with a four pound. The first time I weighed her, it said 410. And then in the video, it looks like it says 416. So we'll just say four pounds. To end it on a four pound largemouth topwater. On a popper. On a popper. I was using, you know, my big rat. You know, expecting to catch a big fish. And I, and I drawed her in. And I finished her off with the popper and so that was just that was great so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video 
Uh, it's kind of all over the place. I'm sure it's going to be long, but I'm going to try not to make it too long. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy me acting like a child and seeing a nice big Ohio largemouth bass. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure you like the video if you like it. If you don't, tell me what you guys aren't liking about the video so I can change it. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn the notification bell on. Like I said, my I'm trying to upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, but I do work, so you know, hopefully those days don't vary too much. But I am trying my hardest to make sure I'm uploading all three days, at least three times a week if it's not those three days. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So I will catch you guys in the next video.